Hey guys, Adam here with americantrucks.com. Today we're taking a look at the Corsa 3-inch Sport single capback exhaust system with the side exit design and the twin polished tips. This is going to be fitting all 2015 to 2018 5-liter F-150s. Now if you're the owner of that 5.0 F-150, you might be looking to ditch the factory exhaust to pick up an aftermarket one that is slightly more aggressive and slightly louder than the factory muffler. This particular system does give you a nice streetable exhaust that allows for little to absolutely no drone inside the car. You can easily have a conversation with your passengers or listen to music without that loud droney sound in your ears. This one here, as you heard from our sound clips, I'm going to give two out of five on our loudness meter simply because it's just one notch over stock. It does have a slightly more aggressive tone, a little bit more volume, but not really by that much. At idle, you're looking at a pretty mellow sound, but then at wide open throttle, you definitely can notice that it is an aftermarket sound. Now that sport muffler has that RSC technology that I'll talk a little bit more about sitting side by side to our factory exhaust. Now the system is all 304 stainless steel, so it's definitely a good pickup for guys looking for the absolute best of the best quality and materials. Now with the 304 stainless steel, you can expect three inch mandrel bent tubing from head to toe, which means unrestricted airflow throughout, which actually Corsa lets us know is gonna have a 17.4% boost in airflow. So you can expect a small bump in horsepower and torque as well as throttle response. With that said, it does carry a higher price tag than most since it is a premium quality material with 304. So expect the price right around the $1,000 mark. Again, for the guys out there looking for a small bump over stock, with sound, but looking for the best of the best in quality and a pretty aggressive four inch twin tip exit right behind the passenger rear tire. Now the installation, one out of three wrenches on our difficulty meter, it'll take it maybe an hour in the driveway at home. You wanna have a jack and a couple of jack stands on deck, maybe even a helping hand to drop the whole factory system off in one piece. Simple hand tools required to get the job done and I'm gonna show you how it gets done, so let's get to it. Tools required for this install is WD-40 a hanger removal tool, a cordless impact or ratchet, a 13 millimeter swivel universal, a 15 millimeter socket, and a pry bar. So the first step of our uninstall is to take our 15 millimeter deep socket. I'm using a cordless impact, but a simple ratchet will of course do the trick. If you're working with air tools, even better. We're gonna go up here and loosen up this clamp right behind our factory muffler. Once that's loosened, we'll rotate our exhaust pipe so that it'll slide out of that retainer pin. Once we take care of that, we'll take our hanger removal tool, pop all of our hangers out of place, and drop the whole thing in one piece. Now because that pipe gets locked into a retainer pin, in order to rotate this to unlock it, what we're gonna do is crack our bolts loose at the back end of our catalytic converter. So I've got my 13 millimeter swivel socket. I'm not gonna fully remove the bolts, just crack them loose enough so that we can rotate the whole assembly. We got our hanger removal tool. I'm gonna pop all three of these hangers out of place. Now, if you do not have this tool, it's a good thing to pick up at your local auto parts store. You can rent them, you can just buy them. They're not super expensive. It just makes your life a whole lot easier. So we finally got our factory exhaust off of our 15 EcoBoost and it's sitting on the floor here next to the Corsa 3-inch Sport Catback. Now, as you can see, there are clear differences, but quite a few similarities. Similarities being number one, it is pretty much the exact same shape. So you know it's going on the exact same way that the factory one came off, making it an extremely easy installation. Now the other cool thing about this one is it's three inch from top to bottom mandrel bent tubing, which means you get an unrestricted airflow from the cats flowing all the way down to your dual four inch polished stainless steel tips. That tip is gonna keep your side exit just like your factory exhaust dumping out right behind your passenger side rear tire but it looks so much more badass. You get two of those polished tips, they're four inches in diameter with a slash cut styling. It just looks really good and aggressive on your F-150. Now that muffler back here is going to be a little bit different in size. It's a little smaller and obviously has that bullet style with a little bit larger of a muffler diameter. That one there is their sport option, which has that RSC technology patented by Corsa, which is the reflective sound cancellation technology. Basically what that means is you get that really aggressive throaty tone and volume without much of that drone on the inside of your cab. It cancels out that interior raspiness that you would get from some of the other options out there that has that louder tone. Now this, as opposed to Corsa's extreme option, is a lot more streetable. It's great for the guys out there looking for the added aggression without going too overboard with something that would get five out of five on our loudness meter like that extreme option. Now you heard our sound clips, it sounds really good and 
I just wanna show you guys how it gets installed, so let's get to it. First up, the install here, we're gonna install our sport muffler. Now what we're gonna to need to do is put one of the clamps on the outlet side of it. The inlet side's gonna go in using the factory clamp that's welded to the factory exhaust pipe. So what we're gonna do is slide that end into the clamp, then we're gonna slide our hanger into the factory isolator on our frame. All right, with this up into place, we can tighten down that clamp and tighten down the bolts out by our catalytic converter. Now, tightening down our clamp right at our muffler inlet, we're gonna just tap it lightly and get it nice and snug. We don't wanna tighten it down too much because we wanna leave a little bit of room for adjustment to align our tips later on. So I'm just gonna tighten it down a little bit here, then we'll move on to the over axle pipe. Next step in the process here is our over axle pipe. We're gonna put this hanger into our factory isolator right above our new Corsa Sport muffler. Once that's hanging in the isolator, we'll be able to connect this pipe into the muffler's outlet. We're gonna put our over axle pipe over top of the rear diff. Now the hanger on this pipe here toward the exit, toward the rear end, we're gonna slide that into our isolator over the frame, line up the one at our muffler outlet, and slide them in at the same time. All right, with the clamp over the muffler outlet, and line those up. Last couple of steps in the process, we've got a clamp on the inlet side of our tips here. We're gonna put that onto our new catback exhaust. Then we're gonna go back down with each of the clamps, tighten everything down once you make our adjustments, and we'll be able to hit the road. That's gonna wrap up my review and install of the Corsa Sport 3-inch single catback exhaust system with the side exit design and the twin polish tips. You can get yours right here at americantrucks.com.